Yeah. Well, it was actually his decision, not mine. Um, but it's one that I fully support. Whitney's messy relationships have always been one of the most interesting parts of my big fat fabulous life until everything came crashing down and it was revealed that TLC might have been faking all these storylines this whole time. And you'll never believe what I found out about Whitney and all her relationships. So if you watch the show, you'll know that Whitney's been pretty unlucky in love. She was with Lenny, then she was engaged to Chase, and now she claims that she's been dating this French guy that she calls the French man. But here's the thing, I don't actually believe any of this for a second. So with all that's happened between her and Chase, it all just seems so fake. Like TLC made most of it up, and don't even get me started on the French man. I mean, that relationship is so obviously not real. And I've seen a couple of rumors going around about how Whitney and the French man got secretly married. And I genuinely think that these rumors were actually started by Whitney or maybe the production team because there's just no way that the two actually got married. I mean, I don't think that they're even actually together. I mean, first of all, if they were married, Whitney would have definitely told everyone and she would not be keeping this a secret. And second of all, we haven't really seen much of this guy at all except for a couple of awkward and clearly staged photos where his face was blurred. And it's also weird that both Lenny and Whitney keep saying how she and the French man have been fighting. And it's like, we just haven't seen that at all either. And they're not even telling us what they've supposedly been fighting about. So it just all seems so staged. Like they're just trying to create this, all this fake drama, but they're not even putting any actual effort in. And plus Whitney's dad literally said that he didn't even know she had a boyfriend. He just mentioned that so casually. And then she had to remind him about how she supposedly spent the whole summer with this guy. And I mean, you can't get any more obvious than that. Whoever this guy is, he's clearly not Whitney's boyfriend. And they're probably just paying him to be part of this fake storyline that they originally wanted for Chase. And that's the other thing. Whitney's whole relationship with Chase really didn't feel real either. And I honestly think that the whole relationship was staged as well. And that TLC and Whitney came up with it in order to save the show. Because apparently what happened was that Whitney had casually been dating Chase for like three weeks or so when she got the news that TLC was considering canceling her show. And she obviously didn't want this to happen. And that's why she convinced Chase to come on the show and pretend to be her boyfriend. And I don't know what storyline they'd planned for this, but it was most likely going to be something like Whitney leaving Chase at the altar, and maybe they, you know, were even considering doing a whole thing about Chase and Lenny, which would end with Whitney having to decide who she really wanted, but let's be real, Chase wasn't invested in his supposed relationship with Whitney at all, and neither was Whitney, and I mean, just looking at how she was with Chase compared to how she was with Avi, you know, she was so affectionate with Avi and ready to change her entire life for him almost immediately, but with Chase, it just wasn't like that at at all. They were supposed to be engaged, but they barely even touched each other on the show. And plus, there were a bunch of other pretty obvious clues that this whole thing was fake from start to finish. Like, when they went to Paris together, it was supposed to be this whole romantic trip, but they didn't even sit together on the plane. And TLC allegedly wouldn't pay for a first class ticket for Chase, but Whitney wanted to sit in first class, so she just left Chase on his own. And she probably didn't think anyone would notice, but it was so obvious and weird, and I doubt she'd do that if he was really her fiance. And someone also apparently saw them ignoring each other at luggage and made a post about it online. And when Whitney, you know, actually got super defensive about that and it was pretty intense, she basically called her fans creepy and said that they should just leave her alone and that it was weird for them to watch her and Chase like this and then post about it. But I don't know. It just seems so obvious to me that there was nothing real about her relationship with Chase at all. And he obviously didn't get her the engagement ring either. TLC probably paid for that. And I mean, if that ring was real, then I just can't imagine Chase would have been fine with Whitney losing it in the ocean, and she was being so dramatic about it, but he basically didn't react at all, and that's what really confirmed it for me. If that was a real ring, he'd be way more upset, but he really clearly didn't spend any of his actual money on it, so he didn't really seem to care. And I've also read that allegedly Whitney knew about Chase's now fiance the whole time as well. She didn't expect the pregnancy thing, but she knew that he was with her, and the pregnancy actually really messed up this whole storyline that had for, you know, her and Chase, and she was allegedly really angry about it because she was worried the show might get cancelled because of this, but it didn't, and now we have this weird storyline with her and the Frenchman, and I think they're, you know, trying to have this one play out the way that they originally planned for Chase, especially since these engagement rumors just came out of nowhere, and I really think that, you know, either TLC or Whitney planned them to push that storyline forward, and there have also been a lot of hints about Lenny and Whitney possibly getting back together, so I think that they're trying to set up this weird love triangle between them, and they'll probably have the French man get 
jealous about Lenny and maybe even have him accuse Whitney of cheating on him and then she'll have to choose and break up with the Frenchman or they might have the Frenchman cheat on her or something like that but either way they're definitely going to paint Whitney as the victim here so that we feel bad for her and her bad luck when it comes to relationships. The problem I have with this isn't just that it's also obviously fake, it's also that it's not even done well at all. I mean the Frenchman is barely on the show, we haven't seen him much at all, and the people around Whitney keep forgetting that she's supposed to be in a relationship with him, which just makes the storyline not believable at all, and why haven't they at least found a guy that they can actually appear on the show more often? I mean if they wanted to create this much fake drama, I just feel like, you know, this wasn't the best way to do it, and why isn't her family playing along? I mean you'd think that they would explain the situation to them so that it at least looked a little real, but no, instead we got this. It's just so bizarre, and the chase thing was super fake too, but this is even worse. We haven't even really seen, you know, most of the relationship play out on the show because it all allegedly happened off camera, and now we're supposed to be invested in it, and they haven't even been showing us anything now that the show's back, you know, either. I mean, most of the season so far has been Whitney crying over Babs, which I get, but it's not exactly the most exciting thing to watch, and I just feel like they went to all this trouble to create all these storylines to save the show, but they just haven't been doing a good job with it at all. But what do you guys think? Do you think that Whitney is actually dating the Frenchman, or do you think she's been faking all these relationships, guys? Let me know in the comments below, and like always, do me a huge favor that like, follow, share, subscribe button, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.